Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. In front of us is the new Volkswagen Polo, latest generation. This is the life package. We have the uh, basic LED headlights and beautiful blue metallic color. This is the 95 horsepower 1.0 uh, petrol three cylinder. We're sitting on 15 inch alloys, a very comfortable setup. And this is the rear. Uh, so let me open it up for you. You can see the cargo space is very practical, fairly okay illumination, have a spare tire on the bottom. Let's close it up and let's immediately hop on, I'm kind of short with the time. Physical key, you can spec the start stop. Uh, my phone is set up here on a USB-C, so I'm going to show you the navigation options via the Apple CarPlay in my case because uh, navigation wasn't purchased. Uh, just to point out, I really like Volkswagen white illumination dials and the physical AC. This is this one's not automatic, uh, but at least has physical switches. Uh, Infotainment is going to boot up in a moment. So let's head out and drive. Now, <clears throat> that used to be my starting position, but uh, as you can see, there's a construction site, so even my place where I filmed B-roll is now closed, but we'll manage in the meantime. Now, gotta return the car, so ideally I would wait for the night to fall, but sunset is enough for me. Welcome to Volkswagen, uh, I think the message does disappear after a while. So um, let's start talking about the car and then we'll cover up uh, pros and cons. Now 95 horsepower, well it is enough for city commute is enough if you're going on a highway for a one person but if you're planning to use this as a you know your daily driver and you want to go to occasional trips I would suggest go for 110 horsepower uh, because uh, then you get six-speed manual and uh, if you want the DSG you have to go for the 110 horsepower as well, I think. Now, uh, at least in the style package. And I would definitely recommend style package because you get a little bit more. But the life package uh, is fairly well equipped. So this time we're gonna jump, straight go to the highway and go to the dealer because I need to return the car the salesperson is using this car so i promise i will return the car in time so we're gonna skip in this video the garage for the regular audience now uh, engine is quite enough it is fairly quiet it's very fine-tuned it's not very loud uh, maybe in the lower gears but it's generally fairly quiet and fairly responsible uh, steering there's a, a one setting it's a fairly a light doesn't give you a lot of feedback I think this is more of a comfort setting the suspension and the dampeners are quite comfortable over the speed bumps over the uh, manholes and potholes uh, in you know uh, reasonable uh, speed if you're going like 20 30 uh, and higher speeds also it's quite comfortable uh, but you know on those speed bumps you need to really slow down the um, transmission is very precise I love Volkswagen transmission the gears are nice, they fit in nice, the feeling 
when the gear sits in it's just uh, very satisfying and the manual the new knob design fits very well in the hand I really like it personally and after sitting a while back in Volkswagen I really gotta say I love Volkswagen because it feels quality it's everything is quality made feels good in a hand the interaction part is excellent and I really enjoy Volkswagen cars and in general Volkswagen group cars such as Sat, Skoda and Audi but um, we're talking about Polo today and I gotta say I think I agree with some of my audience who've commented that they like the Polo more than the Golf it is more smaller it is more compact but it just you have physical buttons on the steering wheel which I love instead of the capacitive buttons uh, you can spec a well manual AC and you get physical switches of course you can get the automatic AC then you get those also touch sensors which are kind of horrible nice layout but personally not my favorite with the touch buttons or capacitive sensors same as the touchscreen it looks nice it looks gorgeous it's very clean design but those touch buttons I prefer those physical buttons that I had in my Škoda Octavia third generation yes you have these knobs and they're fine but wouldn't hurt to go back to those buttons if Volkswagen uh, is planning to keep this setup because honestly it's a little bit outdated and I think uh, this uh, philosophy of infotainment will soon be a thing of past but it's still very good and reliable and when it comes to the uh, responsiveness it is great uh, and reason why this car doesn't have navigation is because standard now you have the Apple CarPlay and this screen is look at this it's fairly responsive it's very good the graphics quality is excellent and I'm really pleased with that I like that part uh, new digital cockpit or at least the base version that we have here is also I would say okay although if I switch the view here you can see uh, you can have the speedometer without the needle like the digital display of a needle uh, that part I part I dislike because it's not customizable if you want to customize that you'll have to take the big screen and then you'll have those options now you can customize the sides um, you also have this so there's really three uh, options and in this one um, as well you have the speed on the right side and your current consumption in the middle now I'm sure you can customize these if you go to this uh, button then you press OK at the press to the side and then over here you can see you can go up and down and customize what you want but um, I would lo love to have that speed in the middle instead that's just my small critic screen is uh, TFT screen it's decent graphics uh, when you come uh, closer and it's okay if we go here to the menu to the vehicle um, today consumption had 6.5 liters uh, long term it's 7 and since refueling 7.5 um, small engine uh, city commute you won't get a excellent consumption maybe if you're gentle on an open road you're gonna get something closer to 6 liters perhaps but uh, as I'm time limited with the car unfortunately I cannot um, I don't have the time to actually do a consumption test like I usually do and uh, we'll have to do this will have to do now overview inside Polo is still good it has fairly tall windows even if you need to check your blind corners uh, it's good the overview behind you is good it's a small compact car excellent for the city uh, decent cargo space and uh, fairly comfortable although 
One of the reasons why I would go for the style package is that these base seats don't have lumbar support. I mean, why does Volkswagen make such savings? It's a fairly cheap option and they've decided to remove it because I'm a tall person, two meters tall or 6.6 .6 in feet and I can feel that I'm missing my lumbar support. After sitting for an hour or an hour and a half in this car, my back is tired, my lower back is in pain and I need that option. I mean, if you're a tall person, uh, that really matters, go for the style package. If you're average height person, then you know, this life package is more than enough. Uh, I would test the LED headlights in pitch black, but again, um, unfortunately not today. But uh, the base LED lights with projectors are excellent, I would say. They're better than the halogen lights. You can see that manhole pass, fairly comfortable. The LED headlights are way better than the halogen lights, even the base ones. And I would say, uh, if you're thinking, oh, I really want those matrix LED headlights, if you're on a budget, this is fine. These uh, lights are more than enough. I have saw them um, on a few cars outside the city, and they're more than enough. Uh, I can't say I think my fogs are also on maybe not um, but I think there's an option to get a corner and fog lights as well in this car now if you have more budget definitely uh, go for the matrix LED headlights those are massive difference the IQ lights are uh, you know uh, not blinding other drivers they make uh, shadows for them and uh, they really uh, lighten up the road amazing so that's one option I would definitely go up and it definitely uh, makes the car look better and pop especially the rear uh, LED daylights these are like fine but the upgraded the IQ ones they look so much better and I mean thinking about it I think I mostly wrap up the car and I just have half an hour to return it in time but uh, I've got to touch the sensitive topic, but the topic of uh, prices. And that is that the prices for the Polo are now bumped up, uh, at least in Croatia. Well, we do have a high CO2 based tax as well and 25% value added tax. The car is pulling nicely. Soundproof, I can hear some wind noise, maybe coming from the B pillar, A pillar, barely some tire noise and of course the engine, but fairly decent soundproof. Now back to the prices, uh, the base Polo, or this, excuse me, the style Polo now costs almost like a uh, better equipped Golf five, eight years ago. and. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments from you from my salon review that this car is uh, very expensive that you can't justify the price and I 100% agree I think the prices because of this uh, crisis with the pandemic uh, the huge demand for chips because of the electric cars I mean this chip in this car isn't that expensive but um, the factories that produce it are now trying to sell more expensive chips so there is like a shortage but not shortage of production but there is such a huge demand that there's not enough 
of them in the market and then if you want to get them you have to pay a higher price it's because other people will outbid you uh, and if you have a product you're gonna sell you have to bid more in order to get them so uh, car prices are going up um, it's not fair it doesn't really make sense uh, but it is the current situation and now was pr is probably not the best time to buy a new car not even a used car the used car prices are also quite substantial but I would say that uh, in a few years this is going to I would say even out and you know if you don't really need to buy a new car wait um, but if you really need to or if it's a company car you don't care so just go for it and Polo is still a great little car it has some uh, new standard stuff uh, was mostly seen on the past model but it serves a small upgrade but you know if it's a company car uh, it's a lot easier to spend money on a car but if it's not um, if it's a personal car then it's it's a little bit difficult I can I can totally understand uh, what's interesting ways uses GPS speed and this car is well slightly off but that's good <laughs> uh, if you're going a little faster it's always good if the radar is uh, catching a little bit lower uh, this will be usually my exit but uh, I want to return the car a little bit earlier so that the salesperson has enough time to uh, you know uh, do his own stuff that he has a child so has to pick it up uh, and you know I want to be responsible if, if I gave it my word I s stick to it um, but uh, also handling of this car excellent um, it is a bit the car is a little bit longer and it just handles very good I've been a little bit rough in the corners and the car does tilt a bit but there is no back end sticking out and it's just comfortable on the road definitely oh model X So everyone, um, I've been posting some stories as well. Oh look, there's a Model 3. I've been posting some stories and uh, I really want to thank to everyone who's been with me following the channel and supporting me in the way. Uh, I wouldn't get my Model 3 if it wasn't you guys. Uh, super happy with the car. Do you have some problems? I'll do probably a video dedicated to that. Uh, not with the car itself, but with some, you know, quality issues. Uh, and this is why I like legacy cars. Their quality finish is excellent. But uh, getting cars for review is getting a lot harder in Croatia. The cars are very late here now. We used to get cars immediately. Because we're a small market, now we don't. And in general, uh, waiting for new cars is, because of the shortage, really, really long. Uh, and uh, some brand new cars are really late they come in small numbers so it's a lot harder to get uh, cars for tests and for reviews uh, even for the journalists because I've been invited to few journalist um, um, you know press launches for the cars but it was definitely um, you know car for one day and then uh, we don't have a test car we won't have one so uh, I'll keep doing my job but I uh, just have in mind that uh, yeah, I'm struggling but I'm doing my best to get cars um, I also want to really thank Volkswagen because you know they're short with the cars uh, at least this salon I've been working with them for a longer period and they were super you know approachable and easy to work with um, 
even when they were short with cars, you know, they've gave me, they've managed to, I know, uh, give me our cars for a few hours. And I thank them for that. Uh, Audi, that's uh, the same group here in Croatia, but uh, I was unable to get that, uh, any, any of cars to be uh, or, uh, honest. Yeah, in fact, no cars in 2021. Uh, because they were really short with the uh, test cars and of course customers you know are always their priority so uh, but uh, let's uh, wrap up the polo uh, I would say an excellent car it's very nice to drive it's a known Volkswagen quality but I think Volkswagen will have to think of the prices because uh, they are a little bit uh, over the top but uh, as a car as a car polo is an excellent little car uh, it's quite comfortable has a quality uh, that you used to in Volkswagen and it feels really good on the road drives nicely and is now packed with more technology and uh, it's just uh, a little bit more refined as a car So if you're in Croatia, if you're in Zagreb, if you're looking for a new car, uh, specifically if you're looking for a Volkswagen car, uh, these are the guys who I'm working with and I would definitely recommend them because they're super approachable, super great and it's nice to work with them and I'm sure uh, they'll give you some good deals with the car and you can always come here and get a test ride. Uh, or you know ask some questions they'll be always happy to answer them um, definitely if you're buying a car spec parking sensors and I think the polo could use a backing camera one thing before I finish I've uh, realized I was looking for at the new Tygo which I'm gonna test probably next week uh, I was quite surprised that the Tygo didn't have the option for the um, emery seats or the electronic option and neither does, neither does Polo uh, I might have forgot uh, I thought that was a standard but apparently it's not on this entry cars but uh, anyways I think this is cool uh, it's a, it's a little co cool little car uh, although these worm lights some people like them um, but I like them to be LED because then they're white and everything inside is white but uh, doesn't matter it's still a nice car um, thank you for watching uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one uh, as always stay safe on the road at home and uh, there's my Tesla and uh, if you want to see a review of my Tesla you can also check it on the channel and if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. I test a lot of cars, a lot of different brands. Petrol, diesel, plug-in hybrid, hybrid, electric, everything. We love cars on this channel. I love cars. If you love cars, then subscribe. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.